Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Sauntering Tarot. Apologies for the lateness of the hour but here is your daily tarot reading for today. Graveyard shifts are killing me by the way so hopefully this is uh, some good news. Let's let's find out. All right, my lovelies, I have all your cards out on the table. We have uh, four aces, two major arcanas. So with the four aces, we have 11, 11 showing up for you. The best part of your day, we start off with the a nine of swords, the lovers, the four of swords, the queen of pentacles, and the five of pentacles. Okay. Seems there's a, a source of your anxiety and really the best thing you can do is to literally look at it and go, okay, I'm going to make it better. That, that nightmare of that train wreck I see coming, um, instead of, you know, giving into, uh, that negativity and feeding it. No, we're going to make it better. Why? Because that's a negative outcome. We don't like it. We don't want it. So... We're going to do something to prevent that because uh, that kind of energy is not what we're wanting. Okay. And let's face it. We, we all have daily stress and whatnot. And a lot of that is, um, kind of normal. We can see it coming, but our attitude about it says a lot. So for today, we're all like, nope, time out. We're not gonna you know, entertain that and said, we're going to do something else that will hopefully avoid this train wreck. Um, and, you know, um, sideline most of our stress, our anxiety, you know, we're, we're giving ourselves a little bit of a break from the worry. Why? Because we're kind of heading it off. All right. And the worst part of our day, we have the three of pentacles in the reverse. Ace of Cups in the reverse, and the Ten of Cups in the reverse, the Ace of Wands in the reverse, the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, the Chariot in the reverse, and the Five of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Yeah, uh, if you are you know, if you have a family, if you have co-workers, if you work on a team, um, you could literally run into uh, people who have their own ideas um, and are very vocal about it. Or, if not vocal, you know they're not pleased and you're probably not pleased as well. And that's not a healthy, conducive uh environment to be in we all get stuck in situations where uh, things literally suck maybe one of your staff members calls out so you're short-staffed and well you can grumble about it um in which case maybe somebody literally is um why because you know, one of your resources is now missing a literal body um But it, it seems like despite things not being that bad, uh, things can potentially slow down. All because someone here uh, is not willing to pull themselves out of this funk. Whether that's you, whether that's a coworker, whether it's a family member, uh, I mean, well, we all know what needs to get done. However, uh, there's the potential for those not wanting to do anything about it, literally do anything about it, fix it, you know, what have you. Instead, they're just like, oh, nope, it's all ruined. It's not worth doing. <laughs> doesn't matter what we have on hand, doesn't matter what we have for time, doesn't matter what we're capable of, uh, uh, you know. Um, we can't do it, so therefore things go at a slower pace, and it's all because of our attitude. 
Instead, we're giving into the stress and the pressure. And I now have David Bowie and Freddie Mercury singing under pressure in my head. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, there, there's times when, yes, the pressure's too much, we, we buckle, but at the same time, we have opportunity and space, if we take it, to change that, to correct it. In this case, head it off. Um, you know, there, there, if the whole thing is a dumpster fire, well, guess what? There's a fire extinguisher, you know, three feet away. And we're sitting there going, oh, it's on fire. <laughs> and we're not even going for the fire extinguisher, then maybe something's wrong. Um, you know, it's that awareness of where our focus is. <laughs> okay, our obstacle or how to get over our obstacle. We have the Six of Wands, the King of Cups, <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles, now the Seven of Cups in the reverse, the Two of Pentacles in the reverse, the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Cups in the reverse, and the, the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. I, I kind of already touched based on this. Uh, we can adjust our attitude um, and the best way to do that is uh, literally look for what can we solve, what can we fix, how can we do that, and, you know, still remain in a healthy, positive attitude. You know, how can we be upbeat? You know, how can we challenge ourselves and see the brighter side, the easier side, the less stressful, you know, the um, to negate the pressure in the opportunity in a time where, you know, seeing, you know, the lighter options, the, the funner times might be a little bit more difficult um, because you feel very much at odds. And if you've got somebody around you that is acting in a certain way, that's going to be difficult. But the best thing to do is literally get to work. Focus, concentrate, get to work, embody that um, more positive, I can do it, uh, attitude, you know, pump yourself up and uh, completely leave behind the, the negative. <laughs> Just remember what our best part of the day is, is seeing the stress, seeing of that nightmare, the train wreck coming and going, oh boy, here we go again. Do we want that? No. All right. Let's derail the train and, you know, um, lay some tracks to go elsewhere. Hopefully a better place. Maybe a place with a beach and a margarita. Um, <laughs> something to that effect. It's all in how you respond. It's your attitude. The attitudes of those around you. Um, I myself today had issues at work. We were very short-staffed, and instead of complaining about it, going, oh, poor me, or bailing, I just went, okay, if you're good with giving me overtime, then I stay. We get it done. I don't matter how long it takes, we get it done. And that's just kind of what you have to do sometimes, is to power through it, and to do so without compromising your mental and emotional health. How can you get through the dumpster fire, the train wreck, feel that uh, space where you're under pressure without giving in and caving to the pressure? <laughs> yeah, I still have under pressure in my head, which is fine because David Bowie and Freddie Mercury singing in my head is totally fine with me. Um, and I do that hope all your cards on the table here, everything here adds up to 97, which also reduces um, to 7, which is the mind and creativity. It's all how you think about it. It's that attitude. 
Are you seeing it as an opportunity? Are you seeing it as a realist? Or are you being pessimistic? Or, or are you at least attempting to be an optimist? <laughs> because how you approach that oftentimes determines whether or not you cave under pressure. Hmm, interesting. And, um, oh, they are right. We have the chariot, we have the seven of cups, and with our numerology, we have seven, seven, seven showing up. That's another synchronicity. Um, they wanted me to point that out. Uh, and for our astrology, for those that actually enjoy it, the moon and Gemini conjuncts Venus and Gemini. So spending time with people you care about would be as helpful as possible. You'd be a good partner and cheerleader. In this case, you're trying to be good to yourself, your coworkers, um, and cheerlead. Yes, pump yourself up. Tell yourself, I can do it. Um, and maybe you're having to tell that to a coworker so they don't just, you know, fall down on the floor. Um, the the new moon is in Gemini, so pursue opportunities, especially um, if they have one of your ideas or as a short-term plan. Um, hopefully that helps you get more excited. You can work quickly to make progress fast. And that's basically what this is. You can either stop and stare at the train wreck and watch it happen, or you can be like, okay, yeah, see that coming. Nope, we're gonna fix it. We're gonna derail it. We're gonna go do this. And, uh, uh, you know, we get to work. We find a way to handle the situation without caving into the pressure. That's exactly what we kind of see here. Hmm. All right, my boys. Hopefully this resonated for you. It definitely did um, for me. And if it does, by all means, give me a big thumbs up. It's a way to let me know that you resonate with the reading. Um, it's a general reading, so please take what resonates. Leave the rest. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.